Hello guys, welcome back to the new series of Road to Redis. In this series, I will be talking about how to use Redis using C++ and what is Redis and what are the uses of Redis. Okay, so let's start with the basic introduction of Redis. So Redis is a remote dictionary server is an open source in memory database. Redis is to use store is to use to store data in memory making it super fast to access it's like a supercharged database that can also work as a temporary holder cache or a message sender redis can hold different types of data like strings list hashes etc it's known for being very quick and can help website and apps run smoothly by quickly accessing or storing data Redis is also featured to keep data safe and can work with multiple users and we can say and work on multiple computer at the same time. Okay, so let me tell you first what type of data can we can store on Redis. So first of all, if we see string, then we can store bitmap and there are bit fields, hash, list, set, sorted set geospatial data hyperlog and stream these types of data we can store in redis but in our tutorial we will be learning how st how to store string hash list set and sorted set so this is a simple explanation of the data which we can store in in a redis okay so let me explain how is redis traditionally used so let me explain you with this diagram so there is a client which requested a data okay so first the app we can say this is an application which will first request to look in cache which is redis if the data found into the in, in redis it will return to the application and then if the data is not found in the cache then the cache miss look will be request to a persistent data store which is mysql there are other like postgres and other xyz okay so the mysql the request will be go to mysql which will be costly like every time you are requesting to a hard drive to get the data so the redis is like a cache in between the application in a, and a main persistent data store so the frequently requested data you can do like this the frequently requ requested data is stored on redis which will be like application can access that data more faster and the client will get the more faster result instead of calling every time a persistent data is stored so this is how the redis is traditionally traditionally used so this is all about the redis introduction so i hope you guys you understand how redis is used and you will be learning more about in the other videos that how we will be using redis using c plus plus thank you guys for watching my video subscribe my channel 